Now we're going to talk about one way to express a need for something in Turkish. Let's say we want to say the sentence, there's a need for a taxi. We're going to start with the Turkish word for taxi, taxi. And we're going to add the dative case ending. Ye, taxi ye. Then we're going to add the Turkish word for a need, ihtiyaç. So, for a taxi, a need, a need for a taxi. The needed thing is in the dative case. All right, we want to say there is a need for a taxi. So we're going to use the Turkish word var, meaning there is, there are, or exists. So taksiye ihtiyaç var. Literally, the need for a taxi exists, or there is a need for a taxi. We can do the exact same thing with the opposite of var, the Turkish word yok, meaning there isn't, or there aren't, or does not exist. So, if we want to say there's no need for a taxi, we can say taksiye ihtiyaç yok. Literally, the need for a taxi does not exist. There is no need for a taxi. What if we want to say, not generally, there is a need for a taxi or there is no need for a taxi, but I need a taxi or I don't need a taxi. All we're going to change is that we're going to add the possessive suffix to the end of ihtiyaj, the word for need. So instead of saying the need for a taxi exists, we're going to say what literally translates as my need for a taxi exists. Let's see how this works. So, let's start again with the Turkish word for taxi in the dative case because it's the needed object. Taxiye ihtiyaç because we're adding to the end of the noun ihtiyaç a possessive suffix that begins with a vowel, we're going to see that che, this che undergoes consonant alternation and becomes a j. So ihtiyacım, my need, var. Literally, my need for a taxi exists, but we'll translate and understand it as I need a taxi. If you want to emphasize, I need a taxi, you have the option of adding the personal pronoun, I, in the genitive. So, optional, benim taksiye ihtiyacım var. I need a taxi, or literally, my need for a taxi exists. We can do the exact same thing with yoke. If we want to say, I don't need a taxi, we can say, benim, optional, taksiye ihtiyacım yok. My need for a taxi does not exist. I don't need a taxi. We can do this with all of our possessive suffixes. So let's say we want to say you, singular, informal, do not need a taxi or do need a taxi. To change this back to var. We can have an optional personal pronoun in the genitive, senin, your, tak, si, ye, needed object in the dative, ih, ti, ya, jun, var. So your, or your, need for a taxi exists. You need a taxi. Or, Alternatively, you can also say senin taksiye ihtiyacın yok. You don't need a taxi. Literally, your need for a taxi does not exist. Let's keep going. For the third person singular, optional onun. Or you could put a person's name in the genitive here, so Mehmedin, Leyla, Nun, etc. Onun taksiye ih var. His, her, or its need for a taxi exists. Or alternatively with yoke, 
onun taksiye ihtiyacı yok, he or she does not need a taxi. His or her need for a taxi does not exist. Very similar situation with the plural. Optional pronoun in the genitive, our taxiye for a taxi, ihtiyacımız var. Our need for a taxi exists. We need a taxi. Or alternatively, for we don't need a taxi, bizim taksiye ihtiyacımız yok. Our need for a taxi literally does not exist. For the second person's plural, sizin, optional, taksiye ihtiyacınız var. Your need for a taxi exists, or you need a taxi. And again, we can substitute yok. So, sizin taksiye ihtiyacınız yok would mean you don't need a taxi. Your need for a taxi does not exist. Finally, the third person plural. Optional onların taksiye ihtiyacınız just like with the third person singular. Onların taksiye ihtiyacı var. They, their need, onların ihtiyacı for a taxi, taksiye, exists, var. And similarly, if they don't need a taxi, we can say onların taksiye ihtiyacı yok. We also, for third person plural, have the option of saying onların taksiye ihtiyaçları var. The same meaning. They have need for a taxi.